Hello everybody, hello and welcome into the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I am Vicki and uh, today is uh, all about penguins. We're all about penguins today, uh, we're going to do a wall hanging. Um, so I'm just going to kind of briefly go over some of the stuff I'm going to be using and then we'll get started. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Alright, so we're going to use this surface from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this was actually with their ocean stuff. However, I like it like this because I like the sides like this. Um, so this is the way we're going to do it. We're just going to take this hanger part out. Uh, we're just going to use the back um, and I'm probably going to just pluck this off. Um, if anything, I guess I could probably just even use the front. Like I said, I'm just going to pluck this off and we're going to paint it and do all the things to the surface. Um, no big deal. You can use whatever surface you want, obviously. Um, like I said, this, these are all just suggestions and these are all things that I use, but change it up, do do whatever you have, because it's use what you have kind of thing. That's how crafting works. Um, improvise and use what you got. All right, um, I got this last year and uh, that was 2022 um, and it was at the Dollar Tree. Um, as of right now, when I'm making this video, the Christmas stuff is not out yet, so I don't know if this is going to be available in 2023. I don't know. But you don't have to necessarily use this. You could use like your own, you can find your own print out printables. Like I said, you can find on the internet, you can print out, um, you know, penguins. And like I said, I'm doing penguins. You don't have to do penguins. You can do snowmen, you can do Santa Claus, you can do like, you know, whatever you want. Um, you don't have to do any characters whatsoever. It can be a winter scene if you want to do that. Um, but I found this thing and it was called wall art. So it was called wall art. And it was in this little plastic sleeve, uh, like so. It's called wall art. And when you open it up, it is just a bunch of stickers. They are stickers, is what it looks like they are. So we are going to be using these guys here. We're going to be using these two. Um, I'll we'll save these two other ones for an another project. But then I got some of the other stuff too, so I can do more projects with this. But um, I'm going to be using these two. So those are the two guys we're going to be using. Um, basically, they're just stickers. So we're going to put them on our surface. Uh, we are also going to be using these little, just little bright white foam balls. Um, they're going to be snow. That's what they're going to be. <laughs> we're also going to be using one of these uh, bottle brush trees. I am not going to leave it shiny and funky like that. Um, just a heads up. I am going to change some things around. Uh, we're also going to be using lightweight spackling. Lightweight spackling, and you can get this at Walmart. You can get it at any of the home improvement stores. You can actually, this is one um, I actually got at the Dollar Tree. I actually got it at the Dollar Tree, but you can get it anywhere. Just lightweight spackling is all it is. Um, I might also um, use some tacky glue with it um, to help harden it, but it does harden on its own, so it doesn't necessarily need this, but I might use it. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and then we're just going to be using a variety of colors as well. Um, so, like I said, these are the things I might be using. Um, I may add things, I may delete things. You never know <laughs> what I've got up my sleeve. So you got to keep on watching. All right, let's get started. Starting with our surface. This is a surface I have chosen to use. We're going to get rid of this hanger because we don't need it. Because like I said, I plan on using it going this direction, not this direction. So we're, we're, we're planning for our surface to go this way. Alright, so first things first, we're going to remove this guy. Okay, there we go. That's the trick to it, is finding a place where you can get underneath it. Okay. I mean, it's still not in bad shape, we might keep that. Alright, and then this is just paper surface here. Just kind of peel that away. Be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll just use this as the front. No big deal. Um, otherwise, we're just going to have to paint the front and the back. And I just feel like painting the front. Only the back by itself. Alright, so to paint this to get started, we're going to go sky mist. Do sky mist to start with. 
really, really light blue is all it is. Just get a big paintbrush. Oops, it's starting to dry a little bit on me. I need to get using it. This is a very, very light blue. It kind of probably almost look white in the video, I'm assuming. But it is a very light blue. This is acrylic paint. So I may need to use two coats, but it is a thick acrylic paint, so I might not. It is thick, so it's going to be a little bit to dry it, for sure. Okay, our surface is all painted. Um, and you can tell, kind of tell, it's a light blue. It's a, it is a light blue. All right, and now we're going to, um, let's get our penguins on board. Let's get our penguins on board with us. All right. Um, so we're bringing this in. Like I said, this came in this little container here, or this little plastic thing it's called wall art is what it is. Um, but basically they are stickers. They are stickers. This is, um, basically what they look like they are. And, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and strategically cut out my little friends here and we'll just hold on to the rest of these guys. For another project and another time. Like I said, I've got all of these guys we can use on another project. Pretty cool. Alright, pretty cool. Now, so these are the guys we're going to be using. Not the gingerbread man. <laughs> but uh, he is cute. He will just be cut out. He's in. He can be used on another project too. And uh, the snowflakes, I don't really, I suppose we could use the snowflakes. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Let's see if I can pull them off here. Maybe. Hmm, snowflakes don't seem to want to come off. <laughs> no, no problem. We will not use them. We don't want to come off. Hopefully our penguins want to cooperate. All right, so we're just going to work on placement. So I'm thinking I want one penguin here and the other one over here. This one is so cute. He Look, he's waving. How cute is that? So we're going to create our own little scene is what we're going to do. So we're going to put one penguin here, one penguin here. Uh, we're going to put our tree in the middle because why not? Um, and then uh, we're going to put snow and decorate and all the things. All right. So first things first, let's get our penguins in place. Put them in here. We're going to just take them off their back in here. And they, like I said, they are stickers. However, we may need to glue them down. So just a heads up, they might need, still need to be glued down even though they are stickers. They are so stinking cute. So cute. Get this guy. I love the fact that these these are stickers, however, it's kind of nice. They don't have like an outline. They don't have like a little white outline or anything. They are strictly themselves. Which is nice. So they turn out so perfect and precious. Like I said, they are stickers, so you may end up needing to glue them down later, but that's okay. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I do. I still I want to. Now that I couldn't do it, I want to take these <laughs> snowflakes. If they cooperate. There we go. Got one. And 
Okay. Let's try. One, two. I think I got There we go. I did. Well, we use the snowflakes too. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, now let's make this jump, right? We have this bottle brush tree. And uh, actually from uh, the dollar tree. That's where it came from. It's very glittery. Very, very, very glittery. Which I'm not a huge, huge fan of. I will be seeing glitter for days, I'm sure. Right. But I do like his shape and all the things. Um, but I want him to sit flat on the back. And I think I need to take him out. I think I need to take his little bottom off. Just save his wood bottom for another day. Then I'm going to take the back of him and I'm going to just cut the back so it can lay flat on my board. So, so I cut, so if you can tell, I cut this section off so that it can lay flat against the bent a little. Oh. Okay. So that it can lay flat up against my board here. Perfect. Put our hot glue on and hope for the best. This holds them on. Like I said, I will be seeing. See, he actually looks pretty cute like that. Pretty stinking cute like that. And then you can tell he pops off the wall. Like, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, Okay, well, here's the hoping it stays. If not, we can always just re-glue it. <laughs> okay, 
now, I'm going to sit with sparkles for days. Let's take our um, lightweight spackle. This is our lightweight spackle. Um, like I said, I can, you can add um, some tacky glue to it if you need to. Um, I don't always, it just depends. If it's kind of a little drier than um, like it's starting to dry out, I will use, um, I'll use some glue to help it out. It helps moisten it in the beginning and then it will help it harden when it's ready to. So I like to just <laughs> dump right, dive right in, stick it on my finger, and we're just going to get messy with this. This is going to be our snow. This is the snow. So we want to get it by their feet because they want to stand in it. We do want them to be <laughs> have snow to stand in. I don't want them to hover. It might be a little weird to have hovering penguins. And this does not have to be perfect at all. You're just creating mounds of snow. So we're creating here. Doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, when this dries, if you don't like the color of it, or if you want to add some color to it, definitely can paint it. As soon as this is dry, you can definitely paint it. You can actually paint it when it's still wet, or add paint to it when it's wet, um, and kind of make your own little, like, icing, almost, I guess. If you want to do it that way. I am going to build up a little bit of it right here to kind of hide the tree trunk a little bit here. I do have some extra things I want to add to this. Because you can't have snow without snowballs. So we are going to add some snowballs to this as well. So if you don't want to get messy with this, I, I actually don't mind using my fingers with this. It's not going to kill me. Um, I like getting a little messy. Um, but it will uh, it will wash right off. So far, yeah, we got all of our snow. That looks so good. It looks so good. All right, now what? It's still wet, or you can even do this when it's not wet anymore. Um, once it dries, you can still do this, and then you can just glue them on if you want. Um, but we are going to. <laughs> I've got my finger just a little bit here. We're gonna add snowballs. We're gonna add some snowballs. And basically, I'm just gonna push them in here wherever I want. Like I said, these are just little foam balls. You can get these anywhere. I believe I got these at Michael's. And they're little foam, they have a little foam section that has like 
all different sizes of foam balls and all sorts of different things. you can see got all the little foam balls in there how cute is that all right so now we could just totally just leave it like this but I want to do something with this tree okay I've got to do something with this tree we're gonna to attempt to make it a little bit better I'm gonna put some green classic green classic green on this and uh, see how it goes we're just gonna see what we can do with this I'm just going to do a messy brush and test it out. I think if I use a messy brush, it might be easier to get to some of these bristles. Some more paint and then uh, we'll just go to town on this. Now, I don't necessarily need to take all the sparkle away from it, but I kind of do want to tone it way back. And I probably should have done this before I put it on my board, but sometimes I just like doing things the hard way. In fact, this is actually working out very good. Taking a lot of that sparkle off. Just leaving some. Just leaving some because I've got some underneath here. Actually like that a lot better. Okay, that looks a lot better. See, so you can still see some of the sparkle in it, but it toned it way down. That's so cute. It turned out great. So basically, and I'm not going to put Merry Christmas or, you know, Happy Holidays or anything on this because, you know what, I want this to be winter. Penguins don't necessarily have to be just Christmas. They can be winter. Uh, they can be year-round, honestly. Um, but um, I kind of like them uh, definitely more around winter, but I like my penguins year-round. So there's that. Um, in fact, I might actually, now that we have this, um, might actually put some white on the tree itself actually because I mean you can't have snow on the ground and not on the tree right can't do it so let me get this. another messy brush this is a smaller one um, this is uh, off-white color it's just an off-white that's buttermilk but you can get any kind of off-white color and we're gonna like Lock it, basically. What I'm thinking we're gonna do here. Although it is still wet with green paint, so this is a new. I can't cut this back. Oh, this is my... <laughs> not my off white. All right, let's try again.
get myself. Okay. Basically, we're just now we're just flocking the tree. And then we'll put a hanger on it after this is all dry. We'll put a hanger on the back and uh, we'll call it an awesome project. Thank you very much for watching my project all the way through here. And uh, definitely stick around, watch some more videos. Let me know what you think and let your friends know where you saw all these cool projects at purplepenguincrafterroom.com.